Welcome back, everybody. That sound only means one thing. I'm feeling kind of hungry. Now, I could order Grubhub or something, but that's kind of expensive, and I don't want to pay money like that. Always remember, when in doubt, check the snack cabinet. Nothing but cinnamon! <clears throat> great. Just great. Ugh, food services are expensive, all my snacks turn into cinnamon. Wait a minute, what if I were to bake a carrot cake? Well, that should be good enough to quench my hunger. I'm wearing a chef hat now. In order to create the perfect carrot cake, we're going to need the following list of ingredients. Since we're making this from scratch, we're going to have to peel the carrots, which is boring. Luckily, I thought this ahead and already peeled them. And yes, this is a spur of the moment event. Don't question it. This here thing is going to help us shred the carrots. So now, we just place the carrots in here and let them grind. Ta-da! Carrots a la shredded. In order to complete our recipe, we need to follow all the ingredients to a T. So scoop three cups of flour, three cups of sugar, and stir it in. I guess since this is a baking video, it's mandatory for me to go over a long-winded story about the origin of this recipe while stirring. Since this is a baking video, I'm doing that. This was created one afternoon by my great aunt back in the 80s. And we have it very often since then because it tastes really good. Next, we need a cup and a half of corn oil. This isn't corn oil, it's vegetable oil. They lied to me. Oh. Corn oil was right next to it. Gently pour the oil in. Now, we add two cups of carrots. And now we just need a little bit of cinnamon. Why do we need this much cinnamon? I'll take uh, this one, I guess. And now for just a little hint of cinnamon. Fire was not on the ingredients list. Uh. Good old water. Comes in handy every now and then. Next, we need four eggs. Who used up all the eggs? Well, looks like I'm going to the grocery store. A few moments later. Oh, thank goodness. They only had four left. Now let's just add these to the recipe and call it a day. And now the secret ingredient that's our one-way ticket to Flavor Town. Crushed pineapple. You see, this really needs to be wrung out, so I'm about to waste a bunch of paper towels. Just grab yourself a bowl covered with paper towels and dump it in. Like so. Get all that water out. When it finally is dry, go ahead and unwrap it and dump it in. This is indeed not a joke. Pineapple is actually an ingredient in this. Pretty fancy, eh? Now the producers forgot to get vanilla extract. Ain't that fun. So instead, we're gonna use maple syrup. Hopefully this does the job. Just a little tablespoon dash, like that. And next, a tablespoon of baking soda. And now we just mix it until it's entirely smooth. And this right here is the exact texture we want. And this right here is basically ready. Except I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hmm. What's this? Oh yeah, I forgot coconut. What an idiot. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in. Ooh. Along with some walnuts. Remember what I said earlier? Well, I kinda lied about that. This is what it should actually look like. All right, now we just have to pour them into two separate trays. And now we just slide these into the oven to bake. While that's baking, it's a good time to clean up. And for most people, that's boring and a drag, but I'm a YouTuber, so watch this. Voila, no problem. Look at that, all the dishes are gone. Ain't that something? Now I need to just suffer for the next 40 minutes while that thing bakes with a good smell, while you get to watch a 10 second time lapse. Ain't you lucky? The first step is to grate the carrots. You'll need a cutting board, a kitchen knife, a cheese grater, and a dish. Oh look at that, my cake's ready! These things are piping hot and fresh out of the oven. Now I just need to let them cool overnight. In the meantime, let's go prepare the frosting. The next day. All right, while that cake is cooling off, it's time to prepare our cream cheese frosting, which we'll need this here mixer for. Our frosting needs only four ingredients, powdered sugar, cream cheese, butter, and vanilla extract, which I got some last night. Dump all those ingredients into the bowl and mix. <laughs> You should really see this, it's super satisfying. Take a look. Now let's watch the same thing again, but with coconut mall over it. All right, this frosting looks like it's ready. And? Mm. Tastes ready too. Alright, next step, grab the plate you're serving it on. Now that right there, it looks underdone. Oh well, who cares? Now we need to add the first layer on top of this, which will act as glue between the two pieces. Now that we have our first layer done, we'll add the second layer. Like so. I don't know about you, but this thing is looking massive. Let's just continue adding some frosting. Now this right here is starting to look like one fine looking carrot cake. We also have to make sure we coat the sides too. So just get that frosting all the way around. And with that my friends, a perfectly frosted carrot cake. It looks so good I could eat it right now. But there still seems to be a bit more frosting left. Oh, I have the perfect idea. The green will be for the stem. And this here mixture of red and yellow will make the orange for the carrot. Now look at that. Larry, right there's some good looking green frosting. Same goes for this orange here. Now that we have green and orange frosting, we need some piping bags. A few moments later. All right, I got some piping bags along with a round and leaf tip. Now let's get these ready. And look at that, these are ready to go. Now making little carrot designs is such a hard thing that nobody can master, but I'll attempt to try to show you. So you make little lines just like this with the orange frosting to make it look like a carrot. And then you grab your green frosting and make two little slices on each side which will resemble a leaf. Do this as many times as you want to until your cake is loaded with a bunch of weird looking carrots. My personal preference is putting eight of them. And look at that. It's finished. Now we just need to take this and go eat it. 
And now for the grand reveal. Let's take a massive slice like this. And do another one right over here. Just ignore the fact that I'm slicing into the carrot. I didn't really feel like making it look perfect. And now we're going to try to lift it up without causing too much of a disaster. And oh yes, this is exactly what we want. Look at how perfect it is. Ooh, I just can't wait to try some. And look at that, all crumbly, all nice and perfect. Mmm, now let's just put on this here plate and bring it into the dining room to finally eat it. Aww, I really want to eat that. Ugh, all of that hard work wasted. Well, at least we learned a lesson out of it. Never leave copies of Monkey Ball lying around the kitchen, it only leads to disaster.